Hey everyone and welcome to the conclusion of the rise and fall of the WB. If you haven't seen the first three parts of the rise and fall of the WB, go check it out. As the WB began to prepare for their fall 2001 season, there were changes that began to be made around the same time UPN prepared for their fall 2001 lineup. The air dates for the two hour sixth season premiere of Buffy Man Parcer and the third season premiere of Roswell was pushed back by one week. The two hour season premiere of Buffy, which was scheduled to premiere October 9, 2001, would premiere on October 2, 2001. And the season premiere of Roswell was scheduled to premiere October 16, 2001 ended up premiering on October 9, 2001 instead. And due to the fact that Buffy the Vampire Slayer was now on UPN while Angel was still on the WB, the Buffy Angel crossovers took a hiatus or they happened off screen via comic book and novel ties in. With Shannon Dorothy gone, Rose McGowan joined the cast of Charm as Paige Matthews, a long lost sister of Piper and Phoebe, and to promote the fourth season of Charm, the never aired advertisement saying the power of three is restored by another. Rose McGowan joins Alyssa Milano and Holly Marie Combs. New shows for the WB Friday night lineup to air after Sabrina since Gross Point and Popular was canceled. One of the shows was Reba, which starred country singer Reba McIntyre. It originally had the work entitled Deep in the Heart. And another comedy show was called Maybe It's Me, which was originally titled Maybe I'm Adopted as well as Raising Dad, which starred Bob Saget of Full House. The WB's new season was scheduled to begin between September 14, 2001 and October 16, 2001. Sadly, shortly before the fall 2001 lineup began, a tragedy struck in America on September 11, 2001, when two hijacked planes crashed into the Twin Towers in New York City. One of the WB affiliates, WPIX TV 11, was affected when their transmitter facilities, as well as other New York television stations like Fox affiliate WNYW5 and UPN affiliate WWOR Channel 9, as well as several radio stations. The fall season began three days later with the season premiere of Sabrina the Teenage Rich, followed by the series premiere of three new shows, Maybe It's Me, Reba, and Raising Dad, as well as the season premieres of Seven Heaven and Angel on September 24, 2001, and the two-hour season premiere of Charmed three days later. To promote the fall 2001 season, the WB aired a sneak peek special hosted by Kat Dennis and Joanna Garcia, as well as Reagan Dale Neese. On October 2nd, 2001, the WB aired a two-hour special called Come Together, a night of John Lennon's words and music, which was a concert to benefit the victims of 9-11 as well as the celebration of the life of John Lennon. The same day, the two-hour six-season premiere of Buffy the Vampire Slayer aired on UPN attracted 7.7 .7 million viewers, which was the second highest viewership Buffy the Vampire Slayer had received during a seven season run. Since the sixth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer was the show's first season not to air on the WB like it did the previous five seasons, Gilmore Girls took over the 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time time slot on Tuesday nights, which grew into the WB's most successful shows after moving to the WB New Tuesday during the 2001-2002 season. The following week, Smallville premiered, debuting with 8.4 million viewers, which also was the highest rated premiere for the WB and it also drew a male viewership. Around the same time, Kids WB discontinued the weekday morning block, giving WB affiliates to carry local produced shows, syndicated programming, and or infomercials. Kids WB weekday afternoon block remained unchanged. Felicity did fairly well during the 2001-2002 season, but it was the show's last season as well. The WB began to struggle to shift the focus during the 2002-2003 season. New shows have came like Everwood, What I Like About You. Some didn't last past his first season, like Do Over, Greetings for Two Scott. The WB also rebranded their Sunday night programming as the WB's Big Sunday, with a repeat of the first season of Gilmore Girls, known as Gilmore Girls Beginnings. 
charitable to Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. And Angel would air on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central Time. Angel would move to WB Wednesday nights after Dawson's Creek in January 2003, shortly after the cancellation of Birds of Prey. And the WB picked up Grounded for Life after being canceled by Fox in the fall of 2002. Dawson's Creek ended its six-season run on May 14, 2003, with a two-hour series finale. The final episode of Dawson's Creek was watched by 7.8 million viewers. And the following week, the seven-season finale of Buffy the Vampire Slayer aired on May 20, 2003, attracted 4.9 million viewers during the show's seven-year run. The first five was on the WB, and the last two was on UPN. The WB's 2003-2004 season came with new shows like One Tree Hill, which aired after Gilmore Girls, and Smallville were moved to the WB Wednesday night, followed by Angel. Ratings have dropped that season, and Angel was canceled in May 2004. On September 12, 2004, Chicago's WB affiliate WGN-TV began carrying Kids WB programming block, leaving WCIU, which carried Kids WB since the programming's block launched in September 1995 as a full-time independent station. By the 2004-2005 season, the WB finished behind rival UPN for the first time. In July 2005, when the network prepared for the 2005-2006 season, the network had retired mascot Michigan J. Falk. With a new show called Supernatural that premiered on the WB in the fall 2005 season and a reality competition series named Beauty and the Geek, Raiden's Pale in comparison to Raiden's Peak of Dawson's Creek and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It was also when the WB and UPN fell behind in the fall 2005 season, losing to Univision. On December 30th, 2005, Kids WB's weekday afternoon block aired for the last time and Kids WB was limited to Saturday mornings. And on January 2nd, 2006, a daytime block called Daytime WB took over air repeats of ER and Eight Simple Rules and later What I Like About You. On January 24, 2006, CBS Corporation, the owners of UPN and Warner Brothers Entertainment, m made an announcement that UPN and the WB were shut down in the fall of 2006 and merged to become what is now known as the CW. Like UPN, the CW was a 50-50 ownership. The 50% of the CW was owned by CBS Corporation and the other 50% of the CW was owned by Warner Brothers Entertainment, which was the owners of the WB. At the time of the announcement, Tribune Broadcasting has committed its WB affiliates to take the CW affiliation, with the exception of three of Tribune's WB affiliates, WPHL in Philadelphia, WATL in Atlanta, as well as KTWB in Seattle, Tacoma, which planned to originally revert back to independent stations, will later take the My Network TV affiliation when Tribune Broadcasting announced on May 15, 2006, that those three stations will join My Network TV. This was due to the fact that three of CBS-owned UPN affiliates in those areas like WUPA 69 Atlanta, WPSG 57 in Philadelphia, as well as KSTW and Seattle Tacoma were chosen as those area CW affiliates because of strong viewership. Seven of the WB shows, One Tree Hill, Seven Heaven, Reva, Supernatural, Smallville, as well as Beauty and the Geek and Gilmore Girls will join the CW's 2006-2007 lineup along with UPN shows like Everybody Hates Chris, Girlfriends, All of Us, Veronica Mars, as well as WWE Smackdown and America's Next Top Model. 
Charmed in its eighth season one in May 2006 and Everwood wasn't joining the CW. During the summer of 2006, the WB and UPN consisted of reruns. On June 29, 2006, the WB had announced that they would air a night of favorites and farewells come September 17, 2006, a one-night-only special that aired pilots of the WB's hit shows such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Felicity, and Dawson's Creek. In June of that same month, Tribune Broadcasting sold its former WB affiliates, WATL, to get it. And to those WB affiliates that did get the CW affiliation had changed their call signs to reflect the affiliation of the new CW network, like KHWB Houston, which changed their call signs to KHCW, as well as KWBP in Portland changed their call signs to KRCW. And on August 14, 2006, the WB discontinued their on-screen logo bug and replaced it with a CW logo bug, counting down to the days of the CW's launch, and the WB affiliates that took the CW affiliation began following suit. As for the WB affiliates that didn't become CW affiliates, when they took the My Network TV affiliation, as well as one of the WB affiliates, KBWB20 in San Francisco, California, will revert back to an independent station come September 18, 2006, will receive a logo free feed. The UPN affiliates that took the CW affiliation began carrying a CW logo countdown. There were also dual WB UPN affiliates that took the CW affiliation like WWHO in Columbus, WLWC in Providence, New Bedford, WSWB in Wilkins Bar, among other select dual WB UPN affiliates. The UPN affiliates that took the My Network TV affiliation dropped the UPN branded from their logo. During the final two weeks of the WB, many of the WB affiliates that took the My Network TV affiliation on September 5, 2006, unless they kept the WB affiliation on secondary status. One of the WB affiliates, KVWB21 in Las Vegas, Nevada, took the My Network TV affiliation and former WB affiliate KFBT33, which reverted back to an independent station in 1998, aired the final two weeks of the WB since KBFT would become a CW affiliate since KBFT was a sister station to KVWB in March 1998, when KVWB switched affiliations from UPN to the WB shortly after Sid Clair's affiliation agreement deal, they struck with the WB and bought KFBT. When My Network TV launched on September 5, 2006, many of the Fox-owned UPN affiliates, among other UPN affiliates, did not air UPN's last two weeks of programming. And because of it, UPN didn't get a farewell on September 15, 2006. Those UPN affiliates that took the CW affiliation. And only two CBS owned UPN affiliates have reverted back to an independent station like KTXA 21 and Dallas Fort Worth will revert back to an independent station on September 16, 2006 since WB Network affiliate KDAF 33 would take the CW affiliation and independent station KDFI 27 would take the My Network TV affiliation. WSPK 38 in Boston did the same when they reverted back to an independent station. However, their status as an independent station lasted until 2011 when it took the My Network TV affiliation. WWE SmackDown was the last program to air on UPN on September 15, 2006, ending UPN's 11 year run. Since the UPN affiliates that became My Network TV affiliates, the WB affiliates that took the CW affiliation aired. WWE SmackDown on September 16, when the WB aired a night of favorites and farewells on September 17, 2006. The WB would air flashback promos which featured actors and actresses from the network's previous image campaigns with the year they became big on the WB network between commercial breaks as well as promos of TV shows on DVD. At the end of the first episode of Dawson's Creek, the WB aired a 60-second montage of stars of the WB's 11-year run, like Sarah Michelle Gillard, Katie Holmes, the list goes on, and the final image of a white silhouette of Michigan J. Frog taking off his hat and bowing with the words, thank you. That same evening, WB affiliates had adopted the CW station branch. New York station WPIX11 aired a montage of its logos leading up to the introduction of its new CW11 logo, while KHCW, now KIAH, aired a newscast of the station's history and rebranded as CW39 News. 
in Dallas-Fort Worth rebranded their newscast as the CW33 News at Night. Kids WB would air on the CW until May 2008 when it was replaced by the CW for Kids and later Vortex until Saturday morning programming was discontinued in 2014. In August 2008, Warner Brothers Entertainment resurrected the WB's brand as a streaming rep site. Air shows from the WB's 11 year run like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel Everwood, Smallville, What I Like About You, one Tree Hill, along with Warner Brothers Television, produced shows like All of Us, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Friends, Martin, The O.C., and Veronica Mars, as well as 20th Century Fox Television produced shows like In Living Color and Firefly. The WB.com was shut down in December 2013. Many of the WB's programming during the 11-year run had lived on via rerun syndication and streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, among others. On September 1st, 2016, one of the former WB affiliates, WGN TV, reverted back to an independent station after 21 years with the network affiliation, both the WB and their successor, the CW. WPWR50, a former UPN affiliate, took the CW affiliation that same day but kept My Network TV as a secondary affiliation until September 2019 when WCIU took the CW affiliation. This is the conclusion of the rise and fall of the WB in honor of the WB's 25th anniversary. I have a group on Facebook called the WB and UPN Fans Unite and a page called In Memory of the WB and UPN. The links will be in the description box. Thank you for watching and I will be doing more rise and fall videos. Shout out to Connor Higgins for doing a two-part rise and fall of UPN. Don't forget to subscribe.